Confident Computing number 836. My email is hacked. What do I do? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com with this week's video summary of my weekly emailed newsletter, Confident Computing. If you're not getting Confident Computing in your inbox every Tuesday, visit newsletter.askleo.com to subscribe today. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll get the new videos as they're released throughout the week. One day you wake up and you find that your email account has been hacked. What do you do? This week's featured article covers exactly the steps you need to take once you discover that horrifying situation. You'll have the steps to get in, and what you need to do to secure your account, minimize the damage, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Also this week, how do I copy text from a copy-protected website? This, while it does answer the question, isn't really intended for people trying to copy text from a copy-protected website. It's more of a cautionary tale for webmasters and other digital content producers to understand that, you know, if it can be seen, it can be copied. One of the things that is so incredibly important for your online accounts is to have a recovery email address. What email account should you use for that? Especially what email account should you use as the recovery address for other email accounts, perhaps even your primary email account? And how do I find out what program is using all my CPU? It's actually a fairly common situation where you've got some program on your machine that is running and running and using all of the CPU, your system slows down dramatically. This article shows you how to find out who to blame. This week on the TEH podcast, Gary talks about his new MacBook Pro with its M1 processor and how surprisingly fast it turns out to be. We also talk about SpaceX and Baby Yoda getting your prescriptions from Amazon, Bill Gates' new podcast, a movie about Boys State, Mac OS Big Sur, and more. All that in TEH number 118. As always, I hope you find something interesting or useful in this newsletter. Thanks for watching, and I will see you here again next week. Take care.